Our next recipe is going to be a little mini beef wellington. It can be a big beef wellington if you really want it that big for an, for an entree or actually dinner. But this is kind of more of an appetizer. It could be a dinner though. So you just, you just choose. But a classic beef wellington is filet mignon seared and halfway roasted and then put in phyllo with mushroom du sel and pate and wonderful traditional herbs and things. And then you roll that up and bake it and then you slice it. It's delicious. This one's gonna be little any mini, mini individual ones using our beef filling. And we're gonna put it in the in the puff pastry and then bake them off. It's gonna be really, really delicious. So we have some butter melting down in a pan. It's getting nice and warm. And of course, we're gonna add a little bit of garlic. Okay, we're gonna sweat that down, stir that up, get the garlic released, get the flavor, get the garlic butter flavored, everything going good. Then we're gonna add in some mushrooms and some tomatoes. Those are Thrive freeze-dried mushrooms and Thrive freeze-dried tomatoes. Just whisk, stir this up slightly, get those lightly toasted. Then we're gonna hit it with three-fourths of a cup of water. We're gonna stir in some velouté. This is velouté sauce mixture that we have in our sauce line. It's a lot like chicken gravy. It's uh, nice and creamy and delicious. It's really delicious and, and good. And then we also have some Thrive Espanol sauce we're gonna sprinkle in. This is a little beef gravy style, and that's gonna give you some nice thickening and some nice base in there, okay? Stir that up, get, get the lumps out of that. Let that cook for a minute. We're gonna season this now with some Thrive freeze-dried herbs. Put that in there, that's gonna make that filling really pop and good flavor. And then last but certainly not least, we're gonna add some Worcestershire sauce. That's a tongue twister, Worcestershire sauce right in there as well. And that's gonna give that a really nice zip and, and, and ting. That's got a little bit of acid to it. So that's gonna bring out the flavors of the tomatoes and the mushrooms and all the, all the delicious treats. Now, now that we have that going well, what we wanna do is take one and a half cups, again, of our beef filling. So we just scoop that in. And if you had a, a big party you needed to do, or had some guests coming over, or maybe had a family, had a family fun day or whatever, and you needed to make some appetizers, well, here's three simple ideas that you could do for that party and make it so easy on yourself easy on the family, and of course, they're just gonna love the taste, love the flavor, because Thrive brings it home every single time. So now we're gonna just stir that, that saucy gravy with the mushrooms, the tomatoes, the herbs. We're gonna stir that right up with the ground beef. You can see how easy, how delicious this is. I just take that right off the stove now, and then we're gonna, we're gonna fill it in now with, with the, the last two ingredients which is Parmesan cheese, Thrive Parmesan cheese. This is freeze-dried Parmesan cheese. We're gonna fold in to this beef filling. And we're gonna take just a tiny bit of cream cheese, give it that rich creaminess, and we're just gonna fold both of these right into this mixture. Now that our beef filling is done for the Wellingtons, you're gonna take your puff pastry, which I just got at the market. Our, the sheets are already made and ready to go. And you can use this mostly frozen. It doesn't take too long to thaw really at all. And there's usually gonna be two different sheets inside. And I just wanted to show you what this looks like. And so you just take your two different sheets. We're gonna lay one sheet out at a time like so. And where the fold lines are is where I'm going to cut. But I'm also going to cut this down into thirds this way. And I'm going to cut it right on the fold lines, which is going to give us nine equal squares. Then we take the filling, and we put a little bit of the filling right inside the, the puff. Then we literally are going to just fold 
up and crimp these edges. Like so. Then we're going to put them on a prepared baking sheet. So that's one version or one style, so just a little bit less filling. And then this guy comes up. And then we really tuck in the bottom, like so. And then that's going to sit like that. So that, that's nice and round. Okay. Once you get them all made, then we're going to take some egg wash. And once you get the top, once you get them all made, we're going to just take a little bit of egg wash. We brush a, uh, brush a little bit of our egg wash right on top here. What the egg wash is going to do to the puff pastry is it's going to give it a really nice shine and finish, nice little crust as it bakes. So I'm going to continue making these, and then they go in the oven at 350 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. So the little Wellingtons are out, and you can see how easy and fun this can be for an appetizer, for dinner, for a main course, for a snack. Thrive makes it so easy. The filling takes what, five, 10, 15 minutes at the most? Roll these up, put them in the oven. That's Thrive at its finest. Easy, simple, and of course, very delicious. I know you're gonna love these babies.